Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and happy 2020 to everybody out there. Today I wanted to do some wild boar hunting, but this time I wanted to do it on Quattro Colinas. This is going to be the first time we're ever going to be hunting for the wild boar. And it just so happened that I found a nice little herd of boar out here at about 100 yards out. I don't see any males, so I think we're just going to try and get on one of these females here and, I don't know, maybe try for a brain shot with a 6.5? Okay, so we have one pretty much within about 20 yards away from us here. Actually, there might be two of them. There's one right there and there's another one right next to it. So I think we're going to go for the one on the right. If he slows down. And we did drop him, but somehow something actually ran into us. Oh, probably was that one there. But yeah, we got our first one down. And why not try and take another one on the run? That looked pretty good. Maybe we can get another one as well. Alright, those both should be pretty solid hits. If not, that definitely should bring it down. <laughs> the 6.5 is a lot of fun to use. It doesn't have as much, near as much power as the 36 does, but it's a lot of fun. And it's a little bit more challenging, which makes it even more fun. So we'll grab our first wild boar. We got a skull and brain at 14 yards away. The 6.5 took her down pretty nicely. And I see two more wild boar down right here. So we'll swing by here and pick both these up. I believe these are the ones that we got on the run. This is the one we hit twice. The first shot was actually vertebrae intestine followed by, oh, second shot was not too pretty. But we did get it. And we'll grab our second one here. That was a 206 yard, ooh, intestine. But it looks like, how do we have a little more penetration? We possibly could have had intestine, liver, lung, and maybe even heart with a 6.5. Ooh, all right guys, so we just went to a new spot here and we're really high up on this mountain. I honestly wasn't sure we'd be able to see anything over here, but I was hoping something would step out. We actually have a wild boar rest zone over here about 360 out, but for the last 10 minutes I've been looking and there was no sign of movement. So I don't know if they just weren't here yet or what but we're in a pretty incredible spot for some long distance shots. So it's looking like we're gonna have to go for about a 370, maybe 380 yard shot. These guys don't seem to wanna slow down. They should be resting. So I'm kind of curious why they're not bending down just yet, but it looks like we're gonna have to take a shot through that little opening right there at about 370. We'll zero in for 300, get ready with the 30 odd six and hope that we can make this happen. It's gonna be tough, but I think we could just maybe do it. Okay, here comes one. Here comes one. Oh, it stopped right when we squeezed the trigger. If it would have kept walking like it was, it would have been a perfect double lung shot. But I think we ended up hitting it somewhere in the neck or shoulder blade. I mean, the 30 on 6 is pretty powerful. It should still take it down. But I guess we'll find out soon. Hold on. What do we have? What do we have here? Looks like we have a female Iberian wolf. At about 350 out. I don't see any males with her. I'm hoping to find maybe something else. But uh, honestly, I'm hoping these wild boar come back as well. So maybe if we try and slide closer, we might be able to see a little bit better. And maybe the wild boar will come back. All right. So we slid over maybe 50 yards to the right. So we're probably like 30 yards closer. Not a ton closer. But take a look at this view. This is just stunning. And the fact that we can actually see stuff out here is even more cool so if we could just find those what that's a seven very hard iberian wolf that is a really nice iberian wolf and you know what we just might be able to squeeze one through there but if we could this is going to be the ultimate sniper shot it felt good and he's down <laughs> That was a 400 yard, perfect double lung, or maybe even heart shot. I don't know where we hit, but that, that right there was threading the needle. Wow. And according to the map, it looks like our other wild boar did go down. So I guess that makes two animals down in this spot here. Because yeah, the only other animal we shot at is that wild boar and the seven very hard wolf. Wow, that was a long ways out there. And the fact that we didn't hit the tree or we didn't hit the hillside, I don't know how we did it, but somehow we squeezed one off. Ooh, what do we have here? That's a pretty nice Basid Ibex. It's only a three, but it's a really decent one. Should be a gold, about 220 out. But I also see something over here to the right side, right there. 
that's an even bigger one that's a four easy about 310 now i think we're gonna go for him we're zeroed in for 320 but we have to hold low held for the heart and it didn't drop but we're so high up on the mountain here that that's probably gonna have some really good elevation so that's why we held low but with the 6.5 double lung i don't think would drop him at 300 but it looks like he is down so that's a good sign Ooh, and we just got eyes on red deer out here it's a yeah, smaller stag, about 300 exactly. I see something in the bushes here though. So that might be another red deer. I don't know if it's a stag or a female or what, but I think we're gonna go for this five medium here. But we're gonna take the 30 odd six, hold for the heart. And again, we're probably gonna hit high again, so we should probably aim below the heart, but I would rather keep it right on it just to be safe. Held right for the heart. And he should be smoked, but I don't see any sign of the other one. Well, he is down, so we made a good shot there. And there's our three. That's the three from before that we decided to pass up. This one's about 320, pretty much the same spot. Let's use a 30 out six this time. And that was way too high. I kind of messed that one up, but you know what? Sometimes it happens. So basically, I'm not even pro right now. I'm crouched on this mountain. If we were prone, we could have had a little bit more easier of a chance to making that happen. But when you're crouched, you sway quite a bit. And all it is about is once the sway starts swinging back down, you gotta time it just right. And when you squeeze the trigger, that's when it all matters. But what happened is I squeezed it just before I should have, and <laughs> we smoked that thing right in the vertebrae. But we got another one right here. Help for the heart, but again, I think we hit high again. Not too high though. That should have been should have been pretty close because that was about 330 out. Well, it must have been a good hit because he's down right here. This is the last one. We just got at 324 and it was flesh. I thought we'd be a little high, but uh, come on. 30 out six should have kept going and hit the neck, hit double lung and split the heart from that angle there. But you know what? That's okay. Still take the 950 cash. So we'll grab this red here. That was a double lung at 307 and holy did we hit high. I was holding right for the heart for 327. But like I said, because we were so high up on that mountain, our elevation was so high that the bullet raised almost a foot. Now, if I didn't know any better, I would think that that's our wild boar bedded down there at 340 yards out. I cannot spot him, but it almost looks like he's bedded. But then again, like I feel like there should be, you know, a whole herd of wild boar there. So the fact that he's all alone. Oh, hold on. What do we have here? Got one trot out there. Decent size three at about 330, 340 out. Get the 30 out of six. We'll stay zeroed in for 300 and try and get on him. We got another one there as well. We'll get on this front one. Man, this red deer is driving me wild. He just keeps on calling and I don't know what he is. <sighs> and not only that, it's like he's distracting me. <laughs> but then again, I am glad that he actually does sound like a red deer, not like an elk anymore. Got a road deer there, but I think we should try and get on the other wild boar right there. Hold on. So that's when we hit. See him running? So yeah, he just piled up right there. Okay. So that means we got an intestine hit. But then again, is he piled up or did he bed down? Uh, I'm pretty sure he piled up. So let's get in this one. This one's about 360 out. Definitely gonna use 30 out of 6. Held pretty much in front of his nose. Should have been a decent lead, but uh, I'm going to say we got intestine. But something tells me that that other pig is piled up. So if this one piles up right over by the other one, then we'll know that they're both down. So hopefully, she, or he piles up somewhere around there. Come on, come on. Wait for it. Wait for it. And he's down. Okay. So that means they're both piled up right there. Nice. And here's our proceed Ibex that we got with a 6.5, 309 yards out. He's going to score 924. We were holding for the heart. Looks like we hit far back. We actually didn't hit too high. Centered the lung perfectly though, but that is a massive Basid Ibex. He ended up weighing 230 pounds with a trophy rating of 191.3. And we will get 1,100 cash. Very nice. And here's our Iberian wolf. <laughs> 400 yard perfect double lung heart shot. 
with the 30 on six. He's a nice gold 853, but I cannot believe we threaded the needle so perfectly. Did not hit the tree and did not hit the dirt hill there. And we ended up getting a perfect double lung heart at 400 yards with the 30 on six. Very nice. And right here is our wild boar that we got in the very beginning. I'm gonna say we hit him in the shoulder blade. Skull, 380 yard. We almost made a perfect brain shot. I wish I could say that I was aiming for that, but uh, I was trying to lead him. And at that distance, we probably would have hit right about here had he kept walking. We still would have hit a little bit too high. I was holding way too high, but man, that would have been incredible if he would have dropped at 380 yards wow well here's where both of our wild boar were standing and that looks like a non-vital and that looks like a non-vital and they're both non-vital so that means we hit a little too far back on both wild boar i was holding in front of the nose too so apparently we needed to hold maybe like another foot forward more wow i can't believe how much you have to lead them they weren't even running they were actually just walking but they're both down right here and i guess we'll find out here in just a second so we'll grab this one. That was a pelvis intestine at 358. Whoo, we hit so far back on that one. Just barely caught the intestine, but that's why we use the 30 odd six because it has a little more knockdown power. And we'll grab this one as well. And intestine at 357. So this one we actually hit maybe six inches forward more than the last one. Still hit way far back at 357. But like I said, the 30 odd six has enough knockdown power to take them down. Okay guys, you see that over there? That's where our spot is. And I'm gonna show you right now where it is on the map. If you look at the map here, we're right by Colina Rhoda and just gotta go, I don't know, set your tent up somewhere on the top of this hill here. Sneak over to this lookout tower. Well, it's not really a lookout tower, but lookout point. And you can see all the way over to this point here. This is where the rest zone is from 7.30 in the morning until 13 for the wild boar. And then there's one from 7.30 until like 11 for the Iberian wolf. Then we have the seed ibex over here from like eight o'clock until two o'clock. Uh, you can see we took off all of our zones are completely gone because we just been smoking stuff off of the top of that mountain there but i mean it was incredible but you know what i really want to get a decent sized wild boar we have yet to get a gold wild boar on this map and i've yet to see a gold potential wild boar and i think we just might see one right here just gotta get his attention he's actually bedded and maybe like 200 yards out okay he got up so it looks like he's getting up we have the 30 out of six. Oh, got a bunch of them here. A female there, another female there, and another female there. I'm still looking for a nice size four here somewhere. There's gotta be, so there's our three. That's the biggest one we've seen yet. I have yet to see a four. So there's our two females and, oh, we got another one coming in here and another one there, way up in the front. So many sows and only one boar. Ah, wow, sounds like a pretty lucky boar. But anyways, let's try and get on him. He's about 100 out. So we're going to take the 30 out of 6. I think we'll zero in for like 80. All right. So he stopped right behind that brush. All he has to do is turn around. And that will definitely work. And here he is. He's not the biggest, but he's the biggest one we've seen yet. And you got to be kidding me. He's going to make gold. 804. Oh, three very easy making gold. What a way to finish off this hunt. Double lunged him at 107 yards out. Absolutely smoked him with the 30 odd six. Pretty good penetration there as well. Trophy rating of 99. And you know what? I knew he was going to be like a somewhat decent one because I had his track. You see, we tracked for 534 yards and he ended up weighing 359. Anything that's going to be like close to 400 pounds is going to be a decent sized wild boar. But with that, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.